speaking. Um, we are waiting a couple of seconds. Some people uh, are just connected to uh, the weekly webinar of NKE. So today we are more than uh, 20 people participating to the webinar. So again, thank you very much to be present. Okay, so I propose to start. Uh, thank you very much for all of us to be here today. Uh, my name is Colin Prudhomme. I'm uh, the sales manager for NKE Instrumentation. Some of, uh, of us, uh, we already exchanged on the past on a different uh, exhibition. So uh, we are talking today about uh, an application case uh, regarding the sedimentation. So we have um, a partner that uh, was in charge of a big study on the Rhone's River. So um, this uh, big river is located in France and uh, a drum was constructed at the estuary uh, place. So um, I'm introducing the context of, uh, of this big study. So again, um, you can see on the map the France uh, here yeah. and uh, um, the Rons River is on the northwest of uh, of the country. It's a long river with an estuary um, paths with two tidals per day. So this is close to Saint Malo, a very nice uh, city, uh, not far away from Mont Saint Michel. Uh, the river is uh, more than 100 kilometers long. Uh, and the flow of this river, and this is one of the main uh, argument or let's say uh, um, uh, important uh, um, specification to build a drum uh, is the flow. And this flow for the Rhone's River is around 12 uh, uh, cubic meter per second. So the tidal is also uh, a big tidal uh, because every day the average tidal is around 7.5 meter. So I just want to show you um, So on the Google map, um, the place of, uh, of this river, so it takes a couple of seconds to, uh, to have it on the screen. Okay, so we can show this. Uh, no, yeah, uh, and we can zoom on the on the river, uh, and you uh, you can see this long river. So from Saint Malo, uh, close to the channel, and this is an arbor on the channel, and the river is going to the south, 100 kilometers long, and the drum. Um, so here, we can zoom on. You can see uh, no, and the other no, 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 go down. Sorry, we have go down again, again, yeah. So this uh, this uh, dam was um, built uh, to, of course, to link the two parts of the of the river, but the main um, the main reason. They, they built the, the drum is to produce electricity. So um, we can uh, change to the next slide. So the, the dam was built so to produce electricity, and we are using uh, they are using the tidals to uh, to um, to to move the machine in order to produce uh, the the power. So this uh, the power plant was built in 1977. This is the older power plant uh, using tidal of the world. So from now, uh, many other examples exist around the around the world. Uh, but this is a, the older one. 
So the annual production is around 500 gigawatt uh, a year, and we have 24 turbine, 10 megawatt each along the, the river. So they cross, they cross completely the river. And uh, the operator is uh, the, the biggest operator in France is EDF, Electricity of France. So you can see uh, on, the, on the picture, uh, the, the situation of the drum. There is a road on the top that for, the, for the cars, so they can uh, use also the drum as a road. And on the, on, the, on the right of the slide, you can see the, the system. So when the tail is coming high, the machine is turning in one, one round. And when it's, uh, the tail is coming out, uh, the machine is turning also. So that we can produce electricity along the day, every day and along the day. So, um, of course, in 1977, when they decided, or when they built this machine, uh, nobody was really involved in the environmental impact uh, of, uh, of this big uh, power plant on the field. And uh, after years, and uh, also because uh, um, many organizations uh, claim the impact of the, of the uh, power plant on the field, as um, EDF has decided to, um, to, to, to measure the impact of, the, of this uh, Tidal power plant on the field. So by this, we, um, we saw, of course, uh, many uh, impact regarding the animals and the fishes. Uh, so some spicy of fishes doesn't exist anymore on, the, on this place. So there is a migration of the spices. Of course, uh, an acoustic concern as well. Um, before the, the construction of the Tidal power plant, uh, many ma uh, mammals were present along this, uh, this estuary. And actually, just, uh, just a few still, uh, still uh, alive uh, in this place. The most um, and the, the let's say the the, the biggest um, uh, impact uh, is regarding the sedimentation, the silting. For different reasons, or for let's say many reasons, uh, this uh, silting has to be a follow. Um, first, because if you have a, a lot of sediment uh, on the water and uh, sedimentation in the, on the feet of, uh, of, the, um, of the machine, the, uh, the power production is reduced a lot. So from, um, uh, for ADF, it, was, it is also very important to know how uh, this, uh, let's say, this barrier uh, along the river can impact the, the production of, of power. But there is also another, another point regarding silting. This is um, the impact on the beaches. Uh, on this place, uh, this is a very touristic place. And uh, uh, before the, the construction of the, of the dam, the beaches were uh, sand beaches. Uh, and actually, the, there is, a, let's say, um, um, something nobody can, can uh, uh, predict before, uh, the, the sand is replaced by, the, by mud. So, um, of course, uh, the, um, the, 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 the Tidal power plant is, uh, is um, the, the origin of, uh, of, uh, of this uh, replacement of the, of the sand by, by mud. And EDF has the responsibility to, um, to improve or to, uh, to, to, to show what is really the impact of the power plant on the, on the, on the field. So for this reason, uh, so it's not so, so, so old because they started only last year, so in the, the 2019, EDF has decided to, uh, to start a big study along this, uh, this drum in order to know what is really the impact. So one of the parts of the study is the, the impact of the sedimentation. So we can see on the next slide uh, what was really um, established uh, to do this, uh, this uh, silt monitoring. So um, EDF has opened a big tender uh, in order to, to, to do this study. So um, 
a company, a French company, wins this tender. This is a Cine company located in Caen. Uh, and uh, they, um, they, they did a big study during more than, yeah, let's say almost one year, uh, with different instruments along the river. So they start uh, very um, uh, far from, uh, from, from the drum uh, to deploy some equipment. And uh, uh, they, they try to uh, understand what is the sedimentation transportation uh, on, the, on the river regarding the, the tide, because this is directly to, to linked to the tide, but also directly um, linked to the, to the machine, because of the power plant has really the, an, an impact. So for that, they deploy uh, 17 instruments um, of course, uh, instrument for the measurement of the pressure and the temperature. This is to know uh, the frequency and the, the force of the tools. Um, they also measure um, the conductivity and the salinity because this, uh, this, 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 this river is first a river. So the water come from, from the land, it's fresh water. But at the place where the drum is, of course, there is uh, seawater coming. Uh, also because of, of the tide. So to know, to, to, to know the impact of the, of the tide on the, on the flow of the river, they need to measure the, the salinity. This is for this reason they install also a salinity uh, data logger. Of course, uh, they install turbidity logger uh, for the measurement of the particle in suspension. Multi-parameter probe in order to have different other parameters like uh, dissolved oxygen and, and so on. And of course, three altimeter uh, named Altus. So we are talking about this uh, later uh, and uh, I will explain you as, how does it work. All of those instruments, and we are very uh, uh, glad to, uh, to, to work on, the, on this uh, subject, all of the instruments come from NK. So they were deployed in 10 different points along the, the estuary. So we can see on the next slide, the map. So you can recognize uh, the, the estuary. Um, so from, from here, the, the channel uh, um, area, and uh, you see Samalo and this river, the dam, you can see here, and the, the river coming. Uh, uh, this is a larger part of, uh, of the river, of course, because it's continued. And you can see the different dot here and the color each different, instru different instrument. So they install Altus very um, far from, um, from the dump in order to really to understand uh, where the sediment came from. Because the sediments that find on the beach, this is not sediment from the sea, but this is, oops, sorry, this is sediment from, from, from the river. And in order to, to understand, uh, of course, the sedimentation, but also the erosion. Uh, they install the altus very um, far from from the river. Okay, so now um, let's say have a zoom on uh, on the altus. Um, so you can see here on the picture um, how the altus was installed. So it's. It's a, a little bit fun to install uh, uh, an altus because you are, of course, <laughs> most of the time in the mud. So it's not so, uh, so easy to, to go uh, for the installation, but also to recover the, the data later on because altus is first a data logger. So to collect uh, the data, you have to go on site uh, to recover the, the data. And in some case, it could be fun to go in a very small um, a boat uh, with mud everywhere. So we have some uh, story very, uh, very interesting when the people are going to recover, the, recover the, the data. So Altus is first an altimeter. Uh, and this is an altimeter working by, with an ultrasound uh, concept. And we have a transponder that uh, send echo to the, uh, to the ground. And we are measuring the, the flight time uh, for the echo to, uh, to, 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 to touch the, the, the ground and to come back to the transponder. And we are measuring this time. As we know the, the, the celerity inside the water, we can, uh, of course, calculate a distance. So this is exactly what we are doing. 
uh, when we are doing we are monitoring the sedimentation or the erosion on the on the ground. Um, here on this uh, uh, application, uh, the transponder was installed around 20 to uh, 30 centimeters above the mud flat. Um, this, um, this is because, in fact, um, the, 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 the monitoring time or the campaign, let's say, was not so long, um, several months. But when we leave this system for a very long period, most of the time we install the transponder around one meter above the the, the, the sea ground so for that we are using um, a kind of a frame uh, that fix where we fix uh, the transponder so you can see it on on the on this picture here so we have the frame the transponder is here over the helm uh, there is a cable you can see it here and after that we have the, the let's say the electronics and the, um, the battery housing and we also have a pressure sensor on this on this part of the instrument in order to measure the, the um, let's say the, the tide but also the wave and of course we have a signalization uh, um, boy uh, in order for the for the navigation don't crush the the instrument during the during the the monitoring so here um this is a, a zoom on a two months measurement so you can see um on the on the bottom this is a, the time and here this is the variation of the distance so this um this uh, point are uh, artifact so this is a uh, uh, growth uh, uh, data of course so don't take in account this but you can see here the, the movement of the sea ground so this is sedimentation uh, and we can start here some event and here this is a high tide so as you know um, in um, in the Atlantic coast and uh, in the mostly in the channel area, we can have very very high tide. So we see here very far from the sea, in fact, the impact of the high tide on the transportation, the sedimentation transportation. So you can see during the high tide, in the, the this is the ground is decreasing and increasing, decreasing and increasing again. So what does it mean? That means the sediment coming from the land is moving somewhere. And uh, this is, the, 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 um, let's say, the, um, exactly what EDF would like to understand. Where, where is the origin of, uh, of this mud that we can find on the beach? And uh, uh, by this, uh, this uh, study, so here we have only two months, but of course uh, it was during uh, um seven or eight months uh we 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 couldn't understand that the, the mud that we can find on the beach came from the land and we know now this is uh, during some period during the high tide the sediment is is moving so of course after that uh, this is only to understand the, the phenomenon but uh, after that edf now has to work on the how does how do they have to work with the tidal uh, power plant during the high tide? Do they have to close the vein? Do they have to open completely the vein, or do they have to do a mix during the day or do, the, the different uh, open during the, the days? Um, so um, you understand uh, the, the let's say the. The hero of uh, of this campaign is the Altus uh, uh, instrument. So Altus instrument, uh, you can see it here on on the on the pictures. Uh, this is two parts. The first part is uh, the transducer, where um, we have to be uh, installed very um, very carefully uh, above the above the um, the sea ground. Because of course it has to be fixed during all the campaign. 
So the frame, the frame that fixes this, uh, this, uh, um, this transducer has to be robust and rigid, and it, it, it doesn't have to move during, during the campaign. Because if it moves, of course, as it is a, um, a relative measurement, if it moves during the campaign, of course, all your campaign is, 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 is false. So uh, this is very important to fix it correctly. And the second part of, uh, of the instrument, this is the housing, where we find, the, of course, the electronic board. Uh, we find also the battery, the memory. And as I told you, so you can see it on, the, on this picture, you can have, um, you can see the, 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 the pressure sensor. Because everything is linked. Uh, when we are talking about uh, sedimentation transportation, everything is linked. Of course, the sediment, the, 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 um, uh, I would like to say the quality of the sediment, but uh, the, the materials of, of the sediment, but also the, the, the movement around, the dynamics of the water around. And uh, we can see uh, on the previous um, uh, curves that uh, this is, the phenomenon is during the high tide. And to discover this, uh, of course, we need also to measure the, 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 the sedimentation or the erosion, but also the, the tide. And we, we use, it, uh, we use uh, this pressure sensor to do that. Um, okay, so um, my, my, my webinar today is uh, closely finished. Um, I would like to thank Cine Company to, um, to, to offer us uh, the possibility to, to see an application case. Uh, thanks uh, also to EDF uh, for the um, uh, authorization of, uh, to communicate on, the, on this subject. Um, so we are working closely. Uh, we, we, we share, in fact, uh, this information. And if you need, um, more information if you have any question regarding this application case and others, of course. Uh, feel free to send uh, an email or you maybe you have the possibility as well to send some question by, by Zoom. Um, and uh, you can find uh, this video um, in some days on our website and our, on our YouTube um, uh, channels. Um, this is the fourth webinar. The, other, the previous webinar was uh, um, uh, are also uh, available on uh, our website in some days. And uh, I'm glad to uh, announce that on next week, uh, again on, the, on Wednesday next week, uh, another webinar will be placed uh, on the corrosion. It's also a very nice uh, subject, very difficult to understand. But uh, in NK, we have this uh, yes. knowledge and the capacity to yeah, more than provide uh, equipment to follow the corrosion on the, on the sea uh, water. So again, thank you very much. And uh, hope this subject uh, interests all of us. And again, we, we will reply to your question uh, by email in the, in the next days. Thank you. Bye-bye.